Welcome to another lesson in our Excel tutorial series. This lesson will cover pivot tables. Uh, please subscribe to our channel and please share this video with your friends. Now, this data set is available in the description as well if you want to follow along. Now, pivot tables are a powerful tool and used to organize information. And it helps you create tables uh, pretty much point and click. Now, with this data set, uh, say, for example, we want to look at uh, how many uh, people aged 20 uh, have filed a claim, or how many, uh, or how, what's the average claim size for someone aged uh, 25, or how much did everyone, uh, how much does did this company pay out in total for this year? Now, we can do that quite easily. Now, first we want to create a pivot table using this data set. We go to insert, pivot table, and when you click that, it highlights the data that uh, Excel believes you want to cover. And now you can select the new range as well. And you click OK, and now you have an empty pivot table. Now, say for example, you want to uh, look at uh, the payment distribution by age. So you click on age, you drag it to the rows, and now you see all the different ages that are here. And then you click uh, paid, and you drag it to values, and now you see uh, how much, uh, what's the sum of all of the payments that were made uh, at each age. Now what's the difference between the uh, rows and columns? It's just uh, where you want to put the data. So for example, if I put the uh, age, uh, bucket into the columns, it's just going to arrange it in the column side. So this is still the same information. As you can see, 319A21 for age one. If under rows, it's still 319A21. So it's just uh, based on where you want to uh, put it into. Now, uh, the filter side, say for example, you want to put the case in here. Uh, so the, say you want to filter it so that you only look at cases uh, reserves of over, say, under uh, uh, 5,000. So say, for example, you want to uh, filter, you can uh, select multiple items here, or you can uh, make it so that it only selects a certain uh, types of data. In our case, we're actually going to put the case also into here, and the values. So it's the same thing, the sum of the paid and sum of the case columns for each of these row labels, which is the age. Now, what if you want to look at the average of the payments at each age? If we right-click uh, in that column, you can see summarize values by, you can do the number of, uh, so that's the count, the sum, which we are currently showing, the average, the max, the min, and the product, and there's also more options. So say we click on the count, that'll show you that for each age, there's age two, there's seven uh, data co columns, Age three has five data columns, age four has three data columns, and so on. Now, we, let's look at averages. So, say for example, we want, um, we want to look at the average. If we do summarize values by average, it'll show that the average payment for age three was 50791. The average payment for age four was 127,175. So that's just average. Now you want to confirm that. If you look at age three, 50791, and when you look back at the data set, uh, age three, the average payment, if we highlight that, you can see that here the average is 50791, just exactly as shown in the pivot table. So this is a quick and easy way to sort your data. Now you can also uh, you apply your standard formatting tools. So say for example, we want to format this so that it's uh, in dollars. And then you want to get rid of the decimal place. So it's actually quite easy to do. And you can also sort by other uh, things as well. So say for example, you want to sort by accident date. You drag that down to your age. This is going to create too many columns, but just an example. I mean, sorry, they'll create too many rows, but so you see that at each accident date, what ages are there. So if say for on this, for example, uh, February 3rd, 2008, there was a data row at age 6 and a data row at age 32. At age 6, it's 130,000. At age 32, it's 17,967. Uh, 
So that just uh, gives you more ways to sort. So feel free to play around. Pivot tables are extremely powerful tools and they can be uh, used to create a variety of uh, information. The best way is to play around with it, but uh, I'll show you some uh, more features of this as well. Now, say for example, uh, you want us, uh, it to sort the other way so that you can see for each age, accident dates, you just drag it down. So it, uh, similar to our sorting exercise, it sorts by the first uh, item first, the age, and then the accident date. And then uh, now you can see that it's uh, at age one, there's these four accident dates uh, with these amounts. Uh, that's the average, but at the same time, since there's like only one of them, there's only, uh, so if you do it sort by average, it's the same amount because the, it's, the data is so sparse that the average is the, the total. Now, uh, something else to uh, keep in mind is that you can actually put in, uh, say for example, uh, you want to put in age into the filter column. And here you can select that only for a certain age. Or you can click on salt to select multiple items. It's similar to your pivot tables. I mean, uh, so similar to your filtered data, which we covered in one of our other lessons. If we want to select only age uh, four, five, and six, the filter for all just age four, five, and six, it'll display the data as appropriate. So that's the uh, that's the filter uh, mechanism that's there. And there's also a few other uh, tools. If you click on analyze. You have a lot of different uh, fields here, which we'll go over in greater detail. Uh, change data source is just uh, to change what uh, data you're referring to. So you have multiple data sources. You can make it so that it refers to a new data source. So we click on it. You can actually use it to trace back to see what data is being used in the pivot table. This is very useful when you see an uh, Excel workbook with a lot of different uh, pivot tables. And this will show you uh, what data it's referencing to. And then also if your data changes, you can force a refresh by clicking on refresh. The refresh all just means that we refresh all the uh, pivot tables inside the workbook. So refresh just means refresh this one pivot table that you're currently highlighting. Refresh all if you have, say, for example, three pivot tables, refresh all three pivot tables at the same time. Now, in the, uh, this is analyzed, so it's more to do with the data parts. In the design, uh, we have uh, the different designs on what you want to show. And this is different styles. For example, when you highlight it, you'll see that uh, it's just a different color scheme. So uh, you'll see what it looks like. And if you click on it, it'll actually change the color scheme to that. And I'll change it back to the default. And then uh, you can select to choose whether uh, you want to show grand totals or not. So for example, if I put on off, so uh, this grand total will disappear. Uh, if I click on off, See the grand total disappeared. If I put on for uh, rows only, uh, then uh, it'll show the uh, pivot tables across the field. And then the subtotals, uh, which we currently don't have because it's only sorting by one column, but remember, let's put it back to the report date and the accident uh, and the age there. So report date and then the age. Uh, putting that into here. So as, as you can see, uh, it, this still kept the filtering that was uh, that we put into there, but you can actually clear the filtering by going to clear filters from age. And when you clear that, it shows all the data. And notice that at the, every uh, section, there's a subtotal of the data that's included within that label. Uh, we can choose to dis disable that if we want by going to subtotals and do not show subtotals which just uh, gets you low subtotals. And to bring it back, it just shows there. Or if you want to rearrange it so that it shows the total at the bottom, all you have to do is go here and show all subtotals at the bottom of group. And this will just show the subtotals in a different way. So there's many different formatting uh, options that are available in Excel. I hope you learned a lot about pivot tables today. And in our future lessons, we'll go over different things such as how to use different Excel functions, how to use uh, macros, how to use pivot tables, how to chart, how to use conditional formatting, and many other functions. So please stay tuned. Please uh, subscribe to our uh, channel and also distribute our channel around because the more popular the channel is, the more I know that you guys all want to see more of these videos and therefore uh, we'll put up uh, different videos. 
You can also uh, leave com uh, comments in the comments area of what videos you want to see. Uh, essentially, these videos are for you, so if I don't know what you want, it's hard to make the videos for you. So just let me know what you, uh, Excel features you want covered, and I'll make videos that covers them. Also, if you have any uh, comments on how you want to see these videos improved, please do so as well. Thank you very much, and thank you for watching.